Purple NG here. Today I'm going to show you how I made my very own soldering smoke extractor. A lot of the projects I do require soldering, and inhaling the fumes isn't that healthy. So up until now, I've been using this tiny fume extractor, or this. It was time for a better solution. So I'm going to show you how I made my very own fume extractor with some simple parts. Let's begin! For this project, parts you need are a 12 volt computer fan. I used a 140 millimeter fan, but any similar sized fan should work. A switch of some kind to control on or off. A 12 volt power supply, DC power supply socket, carbon filter, and some wire. And that's about it. I'll have links down below in the description. I started by wiring up my circuit on a breadboard test out that everything works. You don't need to use a breadboard, but it makes testing a lot easier. I used a three position switch so that I could have two different speed settings on my fan. Like my lightsaber project where I used different resistors to control the LEDs, I will use a resistor to control the power going to the fan. I was able to reuse the original resistor cable that came with the fan. Just a quick juicy tip. A resistor controls the amount of electrical current going through a circuit. A scientist named George Ohm discovered that there is a relationship between voltage, current, referred as amps, and resistance, referred as ohms. From this, he created the equation for Ohm's law, volts equals current times resistance, or V equals I times R. We know that our circuit has a 12 volt power supply and that the resistor is 50 ohms. With those two numbers, we find out that the current running through the circuit is 0.24 amps, or 240 milliamps. So, if we wanted to reduce the current to 0.10 amps and use the same 50 ohm resistor, we would end up with 5 volts. Well, that's enough with the math. Let's get back to the build. Once all the wiring was in place, it was time to test it out. I chose to prototype the case in something very easy to work with, cardboard. And of course, it had to be purple. I measured and cut a piece that would hold the fan. Then I created a frame with a wide base to keep things stable. I used hot glue to put it all together. I could have stopped there, but I wanted it to be stronger, so it was off to 3D printing. I based dimensions off my cardboard prototype and changed the design to look a bit better. I used a nice purple PLA. Yes, purple again. To print out both parts. With the frame done, all that is left is to put everything together. As usual, I start with tinning all the parts and wires. Then, I soldered the wires to switches and power socket. Attach the switch, socket, and fan to the frame. Most fans will have direction arrows on the frame indicating rotation and airflow direction. Insert the carbon filter into the tabs in front of the fan. All that is left is to power it up. Now when I solder, I won't have to worry about fumes anymore. Yay! An added bonus of my fan being powered by USB is that I can plug the USB into a USB battery and make the fan portable. Well, that's how I made my very own soldering fume extractor. If you like this video, please give me a like. And for more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel, Purple Angie. Also, click the little bell icon for a reminder of my new videos. That's all for now. See you next time.